All right, Pisces, so this is going to be a message for um, March 15th, 16th, and 17th, so the remainder of this week. Let's see what messages we have for the Piscean Collective, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, <clears throat> universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. We're going to be using the Energy Oracle deck. Let's get three to six cards. I was just going to do three, but I heard six in my head, so I don't know how this will go, but uh, we're about to find out. All right, Pisces messages. So we have seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. So your crown chakra could be, I just heard tingling. Some of your guys' crown may be tingling. Uh, you may be getting some type of downloads. I'm also getting headaches. If any of you guys have been experiencing headaches, um, storm warning, huh? Fish chakra, Archangel Gabriel, so your throat chakra. Um, maybe you guys are being called to speak up or speak out about something, or there may be something that you're needing to communicate in, intuitively, or you may be getting downloads about this. Woman holding a heart. Um, Four chakra Archangel Gabriel. So this could be with matters of the heart. Okay. <clears throat> Love, emotions. One more. Action. Yeah. Some of you guys are being called to take action. See what I'm saying? The thinking woman and the goddess of the moon. So again, intuitive downloads, thought. Okay. Your crown chakra in correlation to thought. So some of you guys are thinking about something here or intuitively getting some type of download, spiritual insight. Um, and you guys are being called to take action with this storm warning out here. We'll have to see what that's about. I know, I know some of you guys don't like me reading these. Some of you do, but um, I'll try to get through them quick. Um, you guys don't want to listen and just fast forward it. <clears throat> 41, spiritual connections, intuition, and inspiration. The beautiful angel Uriel, also called the fire of God, wears a brilliant crystal crown vibrating with a passionate connection to the divine. She brings great power to your seventh energy center, which is called the crown chakra and is located at the top of your head. This card upright indicates an open and free-flowing channel of information and inspiration from the wonderful beings in the spirit world. This could also be a great time of intuition and for you and guidance from your higher awareness. So allow yourself to quiet the mind and listen. Now is a time, now is a great time to get connected. The assistance from spirit is great and whether it is the presence of an ascended master or a powerful angel like Uriel or just a loving friend or family member in spirit, their love and willingness to assist you all is always there. They even open you up to the Akashic Records or the Alea Consciousness, the storehouse of all information. This connection is open now and you will find that your own spirit and the spirits of those around you will be able to provide you the answers you seek and the blessings you desire and deserve, Pisces. Wow. So some of you guys, this could be this woman holding a heart. This could be like a passed on grandma, a mother, an aunt, somebody, you know, it, it could even be someone who you don't know or who you're unaware of. Okay. Maybe someone before your time who has a lot of deep love for you, for some of you. Okay, so let's go read her real quick since we're talking about her. The woman holding a heart. Female dealing with family, love, or emotions. The woman in this card is wearing a butterfly in her hair and holds a lovely large heart in her hands. For a woman, this card upright could be a reflection of your own state of peaceful emotion and re receptivity for love. Or it might be a message that your family issues are going to resolve. You are an intuitive woman who understands the emotion, emotions of life and you're bringing that awareness to all that you do. This card upright could also indicate the presence of a female friend, teacher, or confidant who is here to help you with issues of love, family, and emotion. This is an even-tempered and caring person who resonates with you and your emotions. This could also potend new love interest or a friend coming your way. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think I need to break that down. That was self-explanatory. So this could be you, this could be someone else, or this could be someone coming towards you, okay? So then we have number 39. 
This could also symbolize healing family issues surrounding your emotions, okay? So number 30, 39, Fish Chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Self-expression and speaking your truth. Gabriel holds his trumpet in one hand and a beautiful orb of blue light in the other. He is sending a powerful energy to your throat center, acknowledging your power to communicate and your readiness to do so. This angel opens you up to truthful expression, both in yourself and others. You may have had trouble with expressing your emotions and ideas in the past, but Gabriel is here to tell you that your soul longs to take this leap now. Be aware that true communication includes how you speak to yourself, so never deny your profound and terrible value. Speak up for yourself. Write in your journal. Let your words flow. Now is the time to express yourself freely and fully. Uh, the universe is always honors... The universe always honors your choice to do so. This card could also indicate that com a communication project is coming or a time of heightened communication with spirit and telepathy with others. Give me one moment. All right, sorry about that. My bunny knows how to open up the gate, so uh, I had to check her. So you got 38, 39. Yeah, so this is also about expressing your emotions and also telepathy. So again, paying attention to your dreams, your intuition, the downloads that you may be receiving from spirit, okay? You could definitely, most definitely for whoever this reading is resonating with, is having a divine connection with spirit, like you are communicating or you need to communicate, even if you're writing stuff down, journaling, or meditating, whatever it is. All right, number 38. So, four chakra, Archangel Raphael. This is all about love, y'all. All right. Love and compassion and self-acceptance. Raphael extends a beautiful green energy surrounded by gentle waves of pink to your heart center. This card upright indicates that you now have a great readiness to receive love from others as well as from yourself. It could also indicate that a much needed healing from a previous broken heart is taking place. The tender vibrations of Raphael remind you to encourage yourself with the compassionate self-talk that you desire to hear from others. Know that as you do so, the light from your heart center will shine with an irresistible beauty and the universe will send people and situations that cause your sense of love and support to grow and grow. All right, so be compassionate about how you speak about yourself. Okay. Speak that shit into existence, Pisces. All right, I shouldn't say shit, but anyway. Number 10, too late. So storm warning, clouds on the horizon. This card indicates potential, a potential difficulty either in the external world or within yourself and your emotional life. The difficulty is coming closer and you may have already ha heard rumblings of potential problems around you. <sighs> the caution here is to be conscious yet not fearful. Consider what is going on and look at the situation with calm and clarity. Investigate your options and honor yourself and your intentions. Stand up for yourself and take action on your own behalf. As this, as with all difficulty, even the worst storm passes. Always remember you have the power and the wisdom to handle whatever may come your way. Pisces, so if you've been getting warning signs from spirit, from whatever, uh, there's so many different ways that we can get signs. But um, if you've been, you know, even feeling warning signs, like there's potential danger ahead spirit is telling you to um get clear uh with yourself and your intentions take actions uh investigate your options and honor yourself um yeah because with this it'll pass you have the knowledge that you need whoever this is resonating with you have the knowledge that you need to overcome whatever this is. However, you may need to quiet your mind. You may need to sit with self. You need, may need to be open to receiving these messages or ask your higher self, ask your angels, ask your guides, ask this woman holding a heart, you know, to assist you in these matters. Okay. And it has something to do with taking action. Like there's something that you need to do. And I feel like you know this or you've been getting like intuitive nudges or the signs and synchronicities are around you or you could feel like the storm coming, you know, it's like, you know, when like 
you can smell the rain coming and then all of a sudden the skies get dark. It's like you can feel it, but you but you need to take action. What are you doing down there? I'm not. I let her out and now she's like doing shit she should be doing. Leave my lights alone. If you take those out too, I swear, you will be locked up for forever. Go. She took out her lights behind her cage today. Cause she got stuck back there because she's Houdini. Okay. So number 17, energizing effort and willingness to work. This card tells you that now is the time for more aggressive forward movement. The galloping horses represent intentional and concentrated action directed to your goals. This card upright indicates that you are on the right track, but your determined efforts must increase. The white horse is your inner action of spirit and thought and the black is the outer work that still needs to be done. So continue taking action and trust your intuition. In time, you'll break through and see the results you've been working so hard to create. So again, with thought and action, your intuition, I feel like you could be heavily in your thoughts right now. Your intuition is definitely heightened at this time. You may have many options or adjacent possibilities, and there may also be something that you're leaving behind or walking away to, but when you walk away, you're walking into victory, all right? But you need, there could be some type of strategy here. This could be involving some type of paperwork or contracts that you need to be strategizing and looking over, taking action, okay? Um... <clears throat> I want to see what is Pisces block. I don't feel that there is a block here, but apparently if this message is coming out, you need to hear this. So what is blocking Pisces or what is hindering Pisces currently, Spirit? What is blocking or hindering Pisces currently in this situation? Because I feel like I feel like you have all the tools that you need. You know, literally, that's what the card said. You have what you need to get through the storm. It's like it's like, you know, a tornado is coming and, you know, instead of going down in the shelter, you're just going to like watch it take you out or something like there's something that you need to do. You need to take action. Like you need to go or do something. I don't know what it is, but OK, what is hindering Pisces? Give me three cards, please. What is hindering Pisces in this situation? The King of Cups, maybe your compassion. Um. Whoa. King and Queen of Cups and Six of Pentacles. I was not expecting that. Six of Pentacles talks about giving and receiving. King and Queen of Cups is an emotional soulmate bond. So what is hindering you? King and Queen of Cups can sometimes be self-sacrificing too, like overly generous to where you self-sacrifice yourself. Why is the King of Cups here? Ow. Page of Wands in the reverse. The masculine energy may not be taking action or lacking some type of inspiration here or a plan. Maybe you need to come up with a plan to take action, justice. Is this some like legal paperwork, legal documents, or something in regards to legalities? What's this Queen of Cups doing? King and Queen of Cups, I don't know if you're in a partnership, in a marriage with a soulmate connection. Queen of Cups is nine of pentacles, three of pentacles. So this could be working on your independence. OK, so. Yeah, literally working on your independence. Why is this six of coins here? Six of cups, maybe you could be given to a past situation.
there could also be some finances coming in from a past situation eight of swords or you're stuck in your own head you're stuck in your thoughts about a past person there you okay with the page of wands so hmm. Some of you guys have like a soulmate coming in, a very kindred spirit, a love connection, a compassionate man. It could be a water sign, could be, you know, both of you all maybe or doesn't have to be. We also have Libra out here, Aries, Leo, Sag. But either way, there's like a strong emotional bond here, connection, but the masculine may not be taking action because he wants something to be fair and just and equal between the two of you. You may be working on your own independence, your own financial stability. You may be someone who is financially stable, independent, good on your own. And you could be networking, collaborating with others or, you know, I feel like you're working on your independence. Six of coins. And you could be in your head about a past situation, about giving to a situation or about maybe even money that's owed to you. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why are you in your head? Are there some type of restriction? The Seven of Swords? Because somebody may be lying to you or trying to be deceptive in some way and get away with some type of wish fulfillment and you know the truth about something or you spoke the truth or Queen of Swords. Yeah, you may have spoke the truth and set up some type of boundaries, decided to hold back and move on, move away from a situation. I don't know where we're going with this, but... Just reading the cards. Um, yeah, you may have made a head over heart decision to put up strong boundaries here in order to be happy because you feel like somebody was deceptive and keeping you stuck. So you decided to hold back and move away from a situation. However, then why the Six of Cups? Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. So, Page of Pentacles. Someone from your past may be coming in with passion, lust, or even an opportunity for a higher level of commitment or a contract here with this hair font energy. That's a hair font. Someone's coming in very passionately, but they have little to offer. King of Swords. This is an X. So you still have an X in your energy, Pisces. What were we even talking about? What was hindering you? What was a storm about? So some of you guys have a, have a soulmate coming in, but they're not taking action just yet because they want something to be balanced out or fair, or maybe they're keeping an eye on you. And maybe you have your head down and you're not seeing them. <sighs> Some of you guys could even be strategizing how to get out of a situation. I don't know if this is someone who you were divorced from, separated from, or someone who could have children with this person. This is Knight of Wands energy. This is someone who's unreliable though. Yeah, and this person's coming in with nothing but passion. Why is the King of Swords here? Or there could be a strong attraction here. King of Swords is three of wands. Either you're waiting on communication or you're waiting on the truth about a situation. What's this Seven of Swords here? Maybe about a third party. Seven of Swords, Ace of Cups. There's fam there's a family dynamic here, whatever this is. Three of Swords. So somebody could have lied about a third party. Someone may have offered love. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Or someone may be offering love, and this is someone who broke your heart. Ace of Cups is a star card. Wish fulfillment. 
But someone could be hoping Aquarius Leo energy, four cups, holding back, feeling rejected or feeling like there's a missed opportunity or someone's trying to find the strength and the courage to come in and offer a new beginning in love because they feel like they missed an opportunity, maybe because of some type of toxicities, the devil card, Capricorn energy of some type of third party heartbreak. Someone may be addicted to like third party energies. Ooh. What is this shit? Where are we going with this? I just went off on a tangent, didn't I? <laughs> oh no. Pisces. What is... Okay. What does Pisces need to take action towards spirit? I feel like you know, and intuitively it's going to be different from, for all of you. So I'm just going to do this just for the hell of it. Again, for some of you guys, this could be different. I feel like you need to take action and move away from a situation, but you also have someone like chasing in, coming in, trying to offer you something, passion and very little, I don't know. The Page of Pentacles and the hair font. Somebody may be proposing like marriage, but on layaway. <laughs> like, let's get married. I'm going to start saving up for a ring a year from now. <laughs> or, you know, like, let's get married. I don't, I don't know. What the fuck? Like, it's almost like a, I'm getting like a false promise vibe. Like, it's like wishing on a dream or it's not even funny. It's like someone's rushing in very passionately after you trying to like. Have some type of truthful communication like. You're stuck in your head about this. This was the whole shit we was con like confer clarifying. Like somebody's coming in like proposing something nice, but I don't feel like they have the means to follow through. And they may substitute with passion and action because yes, they do see you as wish fulfillment. But with the devil coming out and the three swords next to each other, it's like there's possibly still a third party. What is this like Captain Save a Day? I don't know. Or maybe he's just trying to stop you from going off with this soulmate. Because this soulmate ain't going to come in until, you, until things are fair and balanced. Until you're independent, single from the situation. I don't know. Show me action. What does Pisces need to take action towards? What time is it? Right. What does Pisces need to take action towards? What, Luna? Block communication with this past person. Nine of Cups. Yeah, it's unfulfilled wishes. Like I said, it's like unfulfilled wishes. It's like a promise to... Uh, I won't even say a promise. It's like an offer... It's a distraction. That's what it is. Sun card and five of wands. So Leo energy, there could be some type of conflict and drama here. You may uh what's the word? You may be um like recognizing this, you may be seeing this, or you may be seeing that someone has financial struggles, or someone may be left out in the cold or or having some type of financial struggles within their own family or their home or their own marriage and four cups, they feel rejected and abandoned by you. I don't know. This is like, I don't know what the hell this is y'all. The full card. Someone's wanting you to be like foolish, careless, just take a leap of faith with them. The seven of swords, but it's deceptive and you need to walk away. Oh my gosh. And temper yourself. Your angels are trying to guide you. Like over here, because someone here is trying to create some type of sneaky behavior and conflict. I feel like you, what is the sun? 
Why is the sun here? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, something may get illuminated to you and you may decide to hold back and block communication because this is like unfulfilled wishes. And it has to do with your past. Ten of Cups. So you're walking away to a more balanced, peaceful, harmonious, soulmate, love partnership here. The lovers. Oh, how harmonious. That's so cute. Gemini energy. Sagittarius energy. Leo energy. Aries energy. So strong fire sign energy. And Gemini. Four of swords. Whatever this is, this is going to be a very healing union. Some of you guys need to go silent. Go silent. Um... I don't know what I was clarifying there, but Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. What is this Queen of Pentacles? Some of you guys are going to go straight into a commitment after an ending, possibly. Ooh, with your Emperor. I know. Or Empress. Hey. Scorpio Aries energy. Someone may also be trying to Okay, hold on. Let's not just dis I always try to see okay. I always try to see things from like I always try to like not just speak what I what I feel and how the cards lay down and clarify. I always try to give everything like the benefit of the doubt to see it in a different way. <sighs> to not let my energy or the storyline uh, uh, am I making sense to let my emotions or the storyline influence the reading? But then I get confirmation. So then I'm like, why don't I just say it? But it's like someone may be coming and claiming that they've changed. They've transformed. They've leveled up. They're ready for a stable, committed relationship. But it's the page of cups reversed. I'm just saying. You know that. You know it, Pisces. That's why you're going to block this and move forward. The Wheel of Fortune into something that is fated and destined. Someone may even be trying to do... I don't know. Someone could be trying to do like some type of spell work to... I don't want to say block this, but maybe on this new connection... Because they're angry, up in their head, feeling rejected, abandoned, feeling left out in the cold. Five of Cups. Damn, you see this shit? It's like, this is how they're feeling. Five of Cups, Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Because you've made a choice. Or feeling rejected, left out in the cold, feeling stuck up in their head. Because you made a choice, Two of Wands, and now they're angry and mad at you. Because you, what, you turned your back on them, so now they want to stab you in the back with their sword. All right? So they're doing magic on this new love connection. Okay. That's that's really uh that's really emperor like. Anyways. Um, so I'm gonna leave this reading here. I don't know where we just went with that. I guess someone needed to hear it. I'll try to get some more readings out for you guys today. Um either way, Pisces, I feel like you have a very strong bond coming in, but this person, literally, this King of Cups. Or Queen of Cups, whoever it is to you, masculine or feminine, is not going to take any action towards this connection until things are balanced out. Until, like, I feel like you're working on becoming independent, like separating yourself from the situation. Something here is talk like somebody's controlling. And yeah, see what I'm saying? Someone's like heartbroken over this Ace of Cups again. It's like someone's heartbroken over this. They could be obsessed. This could even be a third party energy doing this. Capricorn is here. Why is the devil here again? I don't even know why I'm clarifying you. Because of a choice you made about love and they're angry. Same shit I just got done saying. Those are the cards that fell out. Because of a choice that you made. Now they're angry because you got new love. 
lovers on the bottom. So what is this nine of pentacles out here for Pisces? What does Pisces need to do to get this person out of their energy? I mean, obviously, walk away, right? The storm is approaching. So something may happen. Like, there could be a tower moment approaching. Like, it's almost like if you don't take action and if you don't do something, the tower is going to step in. When the tower comes, I don't know. That shit's not fun sometimes. Give me the nine of pentacles. For what Pisces may need to do. The hermit. Ghost. Bitch, I'm a ghost. Ooh. Should have went off camera, but anyways, isolate yourself from this energy. What does Pisces need to do? Stop giving. Stop giving to the situation. Time, energy, emotions, anything. The world, close this motherfucker out. Make a head over heart decision and cut it off. So you can go into your new cycle of success. All right. Judgment. Yeah. Learning those karmic lessons, calling judgment on a situation so that something here can come into some type of balance. Damn, ten of pentacles. There could even be, I feel like there's finances or something that plays a part in this. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave this reading here. Let me know if it helped you guys, gave you any clarity, guidance, if you know what I'm talking about. Holla. All right. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.